Britain accuses Russia of attacking British ministers with fake calls. Scammers have now posted a conversation with British Defense Secretary Wallace. And that one was about nuclear weapons. Russian propaganda is using every means possible to gain information sovereignty in the Ukraine war, often with success. Well-known Russian fraudsters have now posted a video online showing a conversation with British Defense Secretary Ben Wallace. During the phone call, the men posed as Volodymyr Zelensky, President of the Ukraine, and are apparently talking to Wallace about Ukraine's nuclear weapons. But there are serious doubts about the authenticity of the recordings. The scammers' questions simply do not match Wallace's answers. It is likely that the recordings have been tampered with. The conversation, which lasted about one minute, is said to have been recorded during the defense minister's visit to Poland last Friday. That at least was written by the British TV broadcaster BBC. After the phone call, Wallace revealed that he had been called by scammers posing as Zelensky. In the video, the caller can be heard asking for support for an alleged nuclear program to protect us from Russia, as he says. Wallace nods at first, but then appears irritated by the request, expresses concerns and refers to his government's general support for Kiev. The approximately one minute video is clearly cut. The BBC reports, citing government sources, that it has been tampered with. The incident is apparently not an isolated case. The British government accuses Russia of having attacked several British ministers with fake calls during the Ukraine war. Home Secretary Priti Patel said she received a fake phone call last week. Culture Secretary Nadine Dorries has also been targeted, according to Downing Street. Well-known Russian scammers Vladimir Kuznetsov, called Vovin, and Alexei Stolyarov, called Lexus, were behind the attack on Wallace and they posted the video of Wallace's conversation online. Both had tried in the past to discredit Western politicians with such calls. In 2018, for example, they probably posed as the Prime Minister of Armenia and called then Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson. Their pranks have often been shown on Russian television, serving the propaganda of President Vladimir Putin. The British government reacted with little amusement to the fake calls. It's standard practice in Russian information operations, a spokesman for Johnson told the BBC. Disinformation is a tactic in the Kremlin's playbook. They use it to distract attention from the illegal activities in Ukraine and the human rights abuses being committed there. Secretary of Defense Wallace also speaks of dirty tricks. Things must be going so badly for the Kremlin that they are now even resorting to pranks and fake videos, the defense minister tweeted after the release. A cross-departmental investigation is now to clarify why the false callers were not unmasked earlier. And even the situation in the Ukraine is much worse, but this situation gives me kind of a déjà vu. If you know why I'm having a déjà vu, please write it in the comments. And I'll see you in my next videos. Bis gleich.